So I'm back and hopefully at least you can see some of the packs. You know, I don't know how much of the, my body you're seeing, but hopefully it's just like the same as if I was sitting. Now I'm going to detail the plans of how I plan to beat Alpha Investments. Yes, hilarious, I know. I am, we are way behind. Um, like way, way behind, but my plan is I'm going to hire a bunch of employees and hopefully each employee can really help grow the channel. So one of the weaknesses of Alpha Investments model is he does not trust anybody. He does not trust half employees, even though he has a game store. So it would, I mean, one of the crazy things would be since he's promoting flesh and blood, meta zoo, sorcery which he has a partnership with, in case you guys didn't know. Why wouldn't he just hire somebody to manage his store and kind of do it, right? So his store would be open. His store is not open because he doesn't have any employees and it's impossible for him to be at the store on any regular basis. So that's how I plan to grow my channel. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have thought about this and it is a very difficult thing. I mean, it, a lot of these are competition, if you will, for YouTube eyes. They do this full time. I have been on the record for stating like I do this as a hobby. I do this as a passion. I don't have a team of editors. We don't even edit. You saw the beginning of this video. We don't even have it. Well, we, don't even have to, we don't even know how to do any of this stuff, right? I just very comfortable. You sit on your butt on the gaming chair, you talk about blah, 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 and off you go. I was inspired by a channel, and this might seem really strange, by Backyard Breaks. I watched their streams. They are highly entertaining. Now, again, do they charge a lot of money? Yes. Do they have some background, if you will, of taking cards away that were supposed to be for the free, right? As they say. Yes, with that Trevor Lawrence, right? But they have the correct setup. So instead of being one personality, they have a bunch of people. And it's fun watching all of them. They have Jonah, they have Trez, they have other people, the, the main people, I forget their names. There's a, a female character on their show who does really well. I forgot her name. But there's like a ton of them and there's always one streamer who's box breaking and there's one person who's going to, you know, put the cards in a sleeve. I think their model is very smart and their model, because they're young guys, they just are straight out of college. They're all young people straight from college and they understand what young people want and they make tons and tons of money. I mean, they probably make hundreds of thousands of dollars every night breaking product. Um, and revenue. Now, how much of that's profit, I don't know, but they do very well. That's the model. That's the effing model. And in that model, you want to elevate all your employees to where you are. So I need to spend time training them. We got to do some TikToks. We got to do some whatnot. We got to do all these dumb platforms that I don't really care about. But it's what the young people care about. And that's what we're gonna do. We're going to try to mimic backyard breaks, but instead of breaking sports cards, we will break Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So that's it, you know, that's my plan. It's not like a super hard plan to understand. It's a very easy plan to kind of relate to, but that's my bet. My bet is that I can hire, and if you're looking for a job, I'm hiring. My bet is just like backyard breaks, I can hire people who will then want to be on YouTube that will want to be on live streams and so on. And we can just break the bank. We can kill it. You know, I, I'll be, I, I mean, obviously my job isn't Magic the Gathering YouTuber. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, right? I own a marketing agency that's very successful. I consult on patents on the side. So I wanted to give it a go. I want to, you know, just focus. I want to put everything on it. And I want to say, you know what? I'm going to get my butt off my gaming chair. I'm going to make a video like this, even though if you saw the setup, you <laughs> would be really weirded out because setup is actually my tri my tripod is not big enough to shoot the top of this. 
Therefore, I have it on my uh, coffee table, which is glass. Which my dogs sit on all the time, so pro the potential of it breaking is actually greater than zero. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and then I have just my lighting stance and I can't even see anything because it's so high up. The, the tripod. So anyway, that's kind of where I am right now is I think his main weakness, right? And again, he does massive box breaks. I don't care what if he's clickbaiting the video. I don't give a shit about that, man. Like, I, I don't know like why these people keep commenting like just ridiculous things because it doesn't matter. What matters is the box breaks are not done to the current standard that a backyard car breaks would do to or latents. I mean, I could go on the whole list of box breakers. Nobody, I mean, even if you go on whatnot, there's not a, which is box breaking, right? And an auction, live auction, and eBay is going to make one too. eBay is going to make a very similar app to whatnot, which is very interesting if I get on it. They're not, there's not even the option to upload your pre-recorded video. Let me, let me repeat this again. Whatnot does not give you an option to upload a pre-recorded video for a box break. You must do it live. Or there's no box break. In the future, people won't even give you the option. You won't have the option to pre-record a, a video of you opening stuff and then uploading it to YouTube and oh, here you go, Timmy, here's your box break. Sorry, we couldn't get that hit for you. None of these platforms are even going to allow that. Box Breaker TV or whatever, like these, even the Odin platform, the old school platforms, they don't allow you to upload pre recorded stuff for box breaking. That's insanity, right? They only allow you to turn off the on the button and then off the button. Live, not live. Hi, guys.